What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's Matt and this Juco football video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. We're checking in at Vets as Long Beach City College is set for sophomore day and potentially the final game as they look to get things going and hopefully punch their ticket to a bowl game. Pre-game sophomore ceremony and teammates create a tunnel for the team. Looking to spoil sophomore day is Bakersfield is currently sitting in first in the conference and is a very talented team. After receiving the opening kickoff, the Vikings went straight to the air as Will Madonna is going to find Trinnell Ridgely and he's going to get a gain. But that drive would stall, forcing a punt. After punting on their first drive, Bakersfield would score on a 24-yard field goal to take a 3-0 lead. And Mario Della Torre would crush this 43-yard field goal. And it's 3-3 and Bobby, our guy, is pumped. 3-3 at halftime. The Renegades wasted no time after the break as Joseph Campbell is going to find Jaden Smith for a 19-yard gain, and Bakersfield is moving the ball early on in the second half. Campbell then finds his guy, Jihad Marks, for a 12, and the Renegades are in Vikings territory. Campbell then finishes off the drive as he's going to find Jamal Thompson, and after two quarters of action, the first touchdown of the game is going to go to Bakersfield as they take a 10-3 lead. Madonna's going to find Andre Dembeti for seven, and the Vikings got some momentum on offense as they are cruising down the field as they take advantage on the very next drive. Jonathan Watson is then going to cap a 73-yard drive with this three-yard touchdown, and just like that, it's 10-10 with 7-15 left in the third quarter. We'd head into the fourth quarter with a 10-10 tie, but after a punt by Long Beach City College, Bakersfield is going to respond on the next play as Campbell is going to find Marks for a 50-yard touchdown untouched. On the very next play, Long Beach City College is going to respond as Madonna is going to find Kyle Miller, and he's gone for what appears to be a 69-yard touchdown, but an unsportsmanlike conduct is going to remove that touchdown and the offense would sputter as Mario Della Torre is going to miss this field goal. But don't worry, Vikings fans, because Jonathan Watson on the ensuing drive is going to get a big gain. And then Madonna is going to find Ramil Brown for a three-yard touchdown. And this one is tied as we head into overtime. Vikings win the toss in overtime and will go on defense first. And why not? Because this defense was flying around. Talon Cooper and the Vikings defense would come up big when they needed to as they elect to go on defense first and they do exactly what they need to to force a field goal attempt and it's missed and the Vikings are on offense. And it's simple for the Vikings. You score, you win. So the Vikings hand it off to Jonathan Watson. What does he do? He sees the defender overcommit. He cuts to the right and then he's in the end zone. Winner, winner, comeback game winner for the Vikings. What a thrilling game as they go on to defeat Bakersfield 2317. As always, we want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And for all of your local sports coverage, you got to keep it right here at the 562.org.